Why aren't you using proxies? Now, unless you got a supercomputer, I guess I can see that. But the majority of y'all watching this video right now probably don't have supercomputers. You probably be throwing your 4K files, your 4K60 files in there, probably stuttering and making that not very enjoyable. My question is, why subject yourself to that? Why? You know, there's a way to counteract all of that, right? Let me show you real quick. I'm playing it right. You see how choppy this is? I guess it's not the move. You may be thinking, oh, you have it all full. You can just turn down the thingy, right? Nah, 4K60 does not play like that. Watch this. As you can see, no difference is made here. You're stuck with that, right? You can only put it on one eighth and just have to deal with this. And maybe you have to go and render it in and out to make it actually work. No, there's a way better, easier solution than that. Let me show you how this works. So this is the video I have right here that I pulled into my track. If I literally just right click this, Go to proxy, create proxies, put it right next to the original media. That's the easiest way to do it for real, for real. Hit OK. It's going to open up the media encoder. This will pop up and you'll notice that your video you put into your proxy has popped up here. And now this bar is loading. Now what this is doing is basically rendering the same version of your video, but like a slower quality version. And then what Premiere does, it links your original video to that video. So you can edit your video of the low quality version, but when you actually render it, it'll still be the full full quality version as you can see it's done loading okay i go back to my edit i hit this button over here and for some reason if this little uh show proxies button is on your timeline here you can go to this plus button and add it in yourself but anyways watch this oh 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 my god oh my god so here's the strat. Here's what I would do if I was if I was tasked with some 4K 60 short film movie project where you have a bunch of files that you know your computer is not gonna be able to handle. Here's what I would do. I would as soon as we're done shooting, getting you know, I have already clips together, throw all that into a sequence in, in Premiere and select all of them and turn them all into proxies. And I will admit that's gonna eat up quite a bit of your space because you're it's making another video wherever you're saving it off. So it'll take quite a bit of space to do that. But it's worth it. Now I'm imagining you probably have like an extra external hard drive you can save it onto or somewhere else in general. But at the end of the day, it's much much easier and much it feels way better it feels way better editing when it's not cutting every chopping every two seconds you can edit your entire video like this and you'll be chilling and then have to be 4k 60 as well if you, if you have a video in your in your timeline it's just not working because it's just so your computer just can't handle it boom throw on the thingy and you're chilling now